All right, we're gonna show you how we mix the permadyne, which is a polyether impression material. Again, we're gonna go through a few different um, brands and types of final impression um, and how they are mixed and loaded in like the syringe and the impression tray. So for the permadyne, we have a couple things we need to do before we um, start mixing. We have this metal syringe here. Um, this is a little plastic tip that you need to put into the metal hub and then you just screw that onto the end. And then we will back load the um, light body into this metal syringe once we mix that. And then we have our triple tray. This is a metal version. And then it has this um, disposable little mesh and the paper lines up on the sides here. And then you just slide it in there and then it um, acts as a little uh, mesh for the patient to bite on. So we're gonna go ahead and mix the light body first. First, This is the blue um, base with the catalyst here. So we're gonna dispense equal lengths of each one. So a couple inches there, replace the lid, and then the catalyst. All right, and we're gonna use a metal spatula to mix these. So you wanna mix the catalyst into the base. So we're gonna take the red here and mix it into the blue. And it should take about 20, 15, 20 seconds to thoroughly mix. You wanna make sure there's no red or blue streaks. Kind of a figure eight um, motion. Gather it all up. And if your paper starts to lift, just hold it down. So once it looks thoroughly mixed, you wanna um, push it into like a line almost, cause again, we're gonna backload it into our syringe. And then always make sure before you even set your spatula down, wipe off the um, impression material on there. Okay, so now we're gonna take our metal spatula and you're gonna just actually scrape it against the paper pad and kind of push and a couple streaks there and then again a couple more two by twos to wipe the end of it and then we're gonna place the plunger portion down into there and then you should see the purple come through the plastic tip and then this is what you would hand off to the doctor and they would extrude this around the tooth that they are going to be taking an impression of when we do this in lab, I would like you to make sure you extrude all of the material onto your mixing pad and then take out the plunger right away because if this sets in there, it's kind of a pain to um, clean up. So we're just gonna take this apart. We'll let it set for a few. And that's the light body. So next we're gonna go ahead and mix the heavy body. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean out the um, light body impression material from the metal syringe now that it's set after a few minutes. So in the plastic tip, just take an explorer and grab that material out of there. You can use the other end of the explorer and it should just pop right out here. There we go. Okay, so then we can just reuse that. And then on the plunger it can peel right off pretty easy if there's any other pieces that are not wanting to come off just take a two by two and wipe those and then for the actual syringe itself same thing you can take an explorer to get the material on the outside and then we have these little bristle brushes that you're gonna push through to get any material that's on the inside cleaned out and then just peel out of part. Then in patient care, the metal syringe would get um, sterilized and run through that process. All right, next we're gonna mix the heavy body of the permadyne. Um, same idea, we're gonna distribute equal lengths of the material. Sometimes there's like, um, if it dries or is oily, you can take a two by two and just dispense a little bit just to make sure it's a fresh, um, increment here. Okay, and then heavy body, we usually do a little bit more than the light body because it has to go on the tray itself. 
same catalyst that we used for the purple or the light body. Again, equal lengths, and then a metal spatula to mix those. Then we're gonna mix the catalyst into the base. And we're gonna give you the larger uh, mixing pads, that way you can use the full length of it just to make sure it mixes evenly, it's not streaky. It should take about, again, 20, 25 seconds or so. And then once that's thoroughly mixed, you're gonna gather as much as you can up with the spatula. It's very gummy. So then you're gonna load it onto the metal tray evenly on both, across the whole thing. I'm not gonna load the other side at this point just cause it's for demo. And then if you had any extra And then you would pass this off to the doctor. Um, the handle portion here would be on the cheek side of the tooth, so it is reversible. And then um, again, make sure you wipe off your spatula right away. And that is the Permadyne. All right, for this material, Coflex, it's a polysulfide. We're gonna just be mixing it in lab. Um, it's one that's pretty potent smelling, but again, make sure that you dispense just a little bit on a two by two. And then we're gonna do equal lengths here. This one is one that is not used very often out in the offices, but we wanna give you the experience of mixing it smelling it, seeing how it is to work with, because it's very different than other materials. And we're gonna use um, a tongue blade actually to mix this because it sticks to the metal um, spatula. So when we mix, we're gonna take both and you're just going to mix again, make sure there's no streaks, kind of a figure eight pattern, scrape as much as you can, and then make sure there's no white streaks or anything. And again, this one is just for mixing practice. We're not gonna load it in a tray or anything like that. And this one is one that's it's an older material and it takes about eight to 10 minutes to set in a patient's mouth. So it's one that, that's why it's not used very often is because it takes so long to set and it tastes terrible and the smell and all those things. So it's one that they've kind of done away with, but we wanna have you guys mix it and um, see how it is to work with. All right, we're gonna show you how to put together the cartridge material for the polyvinyl siloxane. This one is a material that is used 100% out in the dental offices. So we wanna make sure that you guys understand how to put these together and how it works. Um, first thing, we have a plastic disposable triple tray, meaning it takes an impression of the maxillary and mandibular arch at the same time, and you can use it for right or left posterior sides. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put this adhesive on the plastic, and it just helps grip the impression material onto the tray so it doesn't peel peel away when you take the impression. The polyvinyl sets in about three to four minutes or so. So it's a little quicker than the other materials. All right, and then we let that dry for a few. Okay, so there is two different materials because there is the light body and the heavy body. Light body meaning the doctor would place that on the prep in the patient's mouth. Um, and then while they're doing that, you would be loading the tray with the heavy body material. So we're gonna go ahead and load the light body first. So you have these cartridges here. You wanna lift up on this little lock and make sure this plunger is actually all the way back. And how you do that is you push with your thumb this little lever here and then just pull back on it. And then on the cartridge itself, there's a little notch, if you can see it right here that lines up on the bottom part of this and it slides slides down in there. 
and then that locks it in the place. And then you push the plunger all the way down till it stops. And then the cap we're gonna take off. There's a little triangle at the top here that we're gonna line up over on this side and then that pulls off. We're gonna do the same thing where you just dispense a little bit on a two by two to make sure there's no oiliness that you're gonna be distributing in the tip. And then to put the tip on for the light body is the yellow and we have this little intraoral tip that goes snaps into the end. So you wanna make sure that is on there as well. And same idea, there's a little triangle notch that lines up here and then you give it a quarter turn and then you know it's locked in place. Always give it a tug to make sure it's in place um, that it wouldn't fall off when the doctor's dispensing it. And then you would, either on a tray or a two by two, just dispense, you kind of push on the handle just so you know it came through okay and it's mixed. And then you would hand this off to the doctor and then they would be dispensing it into the patient's mouth. And while they're doing that, you would go ahead and put the heavy body together chair side most likely you're gonna have this all together anyway you wouldn't um, you'd already have the tip on you would already have the cartridge and the gun and everything so then we're gonna dispense a little bit on a two by two and then now we can go ahead and put the tip on here same thing a little notch quarter turn and then we're going to load the um, triple tray here so you dispense a little bit out and you just go side to side. And on the gun, you're gonna click it until you feel And then you would place this, hand this to the doctor and they would place it in the patient's mouth. Again, this is for a posterior. The patient would bite all the way together. And then they would hold with that in their mouth for again, about three to four minutes. Okay, this is our Pentamix. It's an automatic um, heavy body impression material dispenser. Um, this one, it only dispenses heavy body. Like I said, it doesn't have a light body. The doctor would use like a cartridge material like the polyvinyl siloxane that we just showed. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how to change out the tip here because you wanna have a fresh one for each impression. You'd need a disposable impression tray and then a couple two by twos. So we're gonna open up the little door and you're gonna take off the tip. So you have to pull this spring down and then pull the old tip off. And then we're gonna place a new one on here. The small and the large holes line up with the um, dispenser here. And then you just click this back into place, close the lid. And then this dial over here on the side tells us how much material is in the actual cartridge. So when it's up at the top, that tells us it's full. And then right now it's about halfway, so we're um, good to go with that. If it's down here, that indicates that it's really low and you would need to change out the um, cartridge that's in there. So this, again, this is an automatic mixer, so all you have to do, it's already plugged in, you just hold this gray button down. Before we load our tray, we're gonna just dispense a tiny bit on the two by two to make sure it comes out fully mixed. That's what it does in the tip here. It mixes the heavy body with the light body, or sorry, the base with the catalyst. All right, and then now we're going to load our tray. I'm just gonna go back and forth. And then you could flip it and to the other side. Again, for lab purposes, we'll just have you guys do one side. But again, once you have that loaded, this would be like on the counter chair side, and then the assistant would pass this off to the doctor to have the patient bite on that.